Good evening, Mariela. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, you're having a beer. Yes, a little beer. Okay, that's a lovely look. So, how was your day, Mariela? Uh, so, so. So, so? Why? It's boring. Boring? Not too yes. much work? No. Okay, yeah, I can understand. Sometimes that's a little bit boring. And yes, tell me what's new. Nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. okay. Boring, boring. Boring, boring, boring. Where do you work, I Mariela? Sleep. Sorry. I sleep. <laughs> oh really? Cool. Yes. That's no. nice. No. Pero si tenía sueño. <laughs> Okay, I was sleepy. I was sleepy. Okay, it's like this. Look. Mm, I was sleepy. That's the way to say tenía sueño. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's see who else is here. Mariela, well, thank you, Mariela. Carla, hello, Carla, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. I can see a little baby in a picture behind you. <laughs> Who's the baby? Yours? No. Ah, not yours. My sister. Oh, really? How old is your sister? 20, 25. 25, 25 years old. Wow, amazing. So that, that picture is from, from way before. Or is your sister's baby? Oh, okay. interesting, nice, nice. That's very nice. Well, good evening and welcome, Mariela. Felicita, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very well, thank night? you. Oh, that's nice. Very well, thank nice. you. So, yeah. how, how was your day? Good. Good? Did you have a good, good day? day? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's good. So, everything fine. What about traffic? Just with traffic? Traffic, normal traffic. Okay. How long did it take you to get home? I'm sorry. How long, how long, look at me, how long in time did it take you to get from your job to your house? How much time? One hour, half an hour. ¿Cuánto le tomó? Um, uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you work very close. That's nice. That's... I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Thank you, Felicita. Grecia, yeah. good evening. How are you? Welcome to the class. Hello, thank you, mister. How are you this lovely night? Tell me, Grecia. Oh. Good. Oh, very nice. Thank oh, you. Nice. Cool. Excellent. Good. A good day. Oh, really? Yes. That's fine. That's fine. Yes. What did you do today? What did um, you do today? What did you do today? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Work. Estoy, estoy de 
Tell me, tell me, just the activities. Uh, oh, um, my day in the office, uh, receive documents, attend okay. a client. Okay, yes. just, just listen. Documents, documents. Documents. Perfect. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Thank you very much, Grecia. Thank you. Carlos, good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. How are you this night? Tell me. A hard day. It's A hard day? You're tired? What? Are you tired? Yes, I'm very tired. I have yeah. a headache. Oh my god. A lot of, of problems in the work. Yeah. Some days are like that. Yes. Some days are like that. But anyway, tomorrow again to the tomorrow routine. Be another day. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a saying in, in English another day, another day dollar <laughs> that means like same routine again and again that's the way it is another day another dollar okay yeah. it's a good break yeah <laughs> okay carlos thank you very much walter hello walter hello teacher how are you i'm fine how was your day mister a good day, a bad day, a hard day, difficult. Uh, and they relax. Are relax. Ooh. And they drink drinks. Yes. Yeah. Where do you work, Walter? <laughs> yeah, because Carlos had a heavy day, a hard day. I, I need a word relax. A relaxing job. Relaxing I'm a relaxing job. job. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, man, I like that attitude. He's like cool. Well. Yeah. It's nice, Walter. It's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Fausto, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good Tell evening, Fausto, everyone. How was your day? Uh, my day, it was heavy, but uh, good day. Okay, heavy, but cool. A lot of activities? Yeah, a lot of prepared for your soldier. Oh. Complex. Yeah. And a little bit stressful, I imagine. A little bit stressful. Sorry, no, I, I don't. Okay, let me check, let me check, yeah. A little bit stress, stressful, Presente. Okay, let's try something, Fausto. How do you hear me with... Uh... What about this microphone? Can you hear me better with this? Yes. Okay, cool. So, it was a little bit stressful for you. Stressful. Stressful, estresante. Oh, yes. Uh, I can imagine. Sometimes it is like that. Well, but it's another day. Thank you very much, Fausto. You're welcome. Helen, what about you? How was your day, Helen? Good evening. Good evening. My day is in, um, with a lot of work. Oh, really? Okay, but right now at home, relax. What time did you finish working today? I finished at um, 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? Mm -hmm. And at what time did you get home? Uh, 7 p.m. At 7 p.m.? Two hours. Excuse me? It took you two hours. Uh, yes, two hours. Um, very traffic. Come on, mucho traffic. Very heavy traffic. Heavy traffic. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, Thank you, Helen. Okay. Hey, Francisco. Good evening. Good evening. 
Hey, cool, I can hear you. That's nice. Sometimes I cannot. Hello, Francisco. Okay. How's That's everything? Good. Yeah, how's everything? Tell me, how was your day, mister? Oh, um, como se dice, um, a relaxing day. A relaxed day? Yeah. Oh, you and Walter are had a relaxed day. Mariela told me a boring day. Carlos told me a difficult day. And so, what about traffic, Francisco? Did you have to deal with a lot of traffic today? No, 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 no. It's um, a little, a little traffic, really. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, because traffic is, is stressful. A lot. Yeah. A lot stressful. Yeah. Right? It is, um, it is lost, como se dice perder mucho tiempo? Lose, you lose time. Okay. Or you can say, it's, you can say it is a waste of time. It is a waste of time. Es un desperdicio. It is a waste of time. It is a yeah. waste of time. Es un desperdicio. Yeah, that happens sometimes. But if they say it does, uh, it's a little traffic. Okay, that's cool. Excellent, excellent. No Thank you, Francisco. Yeah. Eliani, you. good evening. How are you, Eliani? Good evening, teacher. Very, very well. Okay, cool. Tell me, how was your day? A good day? My day is, uh, is, es para fue. Was? My day, my day was excellent. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's, yeah, I can tell, I can tell you got a big smile. Sí. Uh, that's yes, nice. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, Carlos. I'm sorry for you, man. <laughs> Everybody had a nice day and Carlos was suffering today. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, difficult day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Eliani, what about traffic? You didn't have problems with traffic today? Not problem. Um, my, ¿cómo sería mi trabajo queda a mi casa? In your house? You work from home or close? En su uh -huh. casa o cerca? Close. Cerca. Close. Okay, how long does it take you? ¿Cuánto le lleva? Five minutes, ten minutes? Ten minutes. 10 minutes? Yes. 10 minutes by bus? By yes. car or by motorcycle? Um, more, um, bus? By bus. By bus. Oh, really? Cool. 10 uh, minutes. 10 minutes uh, by bus is very close. Yes. And so, car is four minutes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's very close. So, yes. you... You don't have that much problem. That's nice. I'm glad you had a good day. Thank you very much, Eliani. Pedro. Hello, Pedro. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? I am fine. What about you, mister? Oh, in, in this morning, arrival. Arriving home? Arriving my, my my work in, in my house. Sorry. Okay. Just arriving. Just arriving home from. Just arriving home. Okay. Look at home. the. I texted it to you. Just arriving home from my job. Acabando. Ah, okay. Apenas o acabando, acabando de, de llegar a casa de mi trabajo. Just arriving home from my job. Just arriving job. Arriving home from my job. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Well, at least you are on time for the class and you can take advantage of the whole class. We are going to do a lot of activities. Thank you very much, Pedro. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's start. I'm sorry. Let's get rid of this pretty fast. I need to get the attendance. So, Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. 
Present. Carla Colocho de Parada. Here. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Here. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Here. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Presente. Thank you. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Thank you. Helen Maria Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla. Absent. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Sir. Thank you. Yeah. Alonso Antonio Turcios. Andrea Natalie Espinal. Wendy Azucena Pérez. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. Present, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me just okay. check a little something. Let me just check a little something right here because I need to get the, a little detail with the attendance. But it's good that all of you are here today. It is nice. It is nice. Let's see. Let's see. Okie dokie. Well, today we are going to talk about, uh, well, yesterday we were talking about uh, instructions, about uh, instructions we give people. Some of you told me that you have to give instructions sometimes, always. And today we are going to talk with, about that. Uh, besides, you had a small, a small homework where you were supposed to write some instructions, okay? We are going to do that activity later on, okay? We are going to do it today, but later on, we're going to do an activity with the homework. And I have a PowerPoint presentation prepared for you. And we are also going to watch, uh, to work a little bit with a conversation from the book. Okay, so right now, in order to start, just let me do a little something here. Okay, perfect. Now I think you can hear me better. So, in order to start, we are going to do a little something. We are going to review a small conversation that appears in your manual in page number 22, okay? Page number 22 from the manual. And I am going to share it with you right now. Okay, here you have it. Let me see, let me just get it a little bit bigger and a little bit more. Okay, the instructions are listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay, listen to the pronunciation, please. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am, do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please. Write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Again, listen again. Please send this package. Yes, man. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please. Write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, guys, do you have any question about the, about the vocabulary? Mister, yes. Uh, please repeat repeat the pronunciation. Anything is correct. Anything, anything. Oh, okay. Do you need anything? Yes, like that. Do you oh, need okay. anything? Anything else? Okay, okay, guys. Thank you. I just sent you a picture of the conversation. Remember, in the manual, in the Insafort manual, is in page number twenty-two. 
and it says, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Now, we need to practice the conversation. I'm going to divide you in pairs. You are going to have three minutes because it's a very short conversation. And then we come back and do it here. Switch roles, okay? Switch roles. Cambien papeles. Okay, switch roles in the conversation. So right now I'm going to create the rooms. Let's see. Okay, the rooms are created right now. Please jump in. Hello, Peter. Hi, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Hola. No se escuchó. No. Ok. Se como. Package. Sí, package. 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 Okay. Oh, que es el mister. Yes, here I am. Preguntémosle. Eh. Ah, repeat pronunciation, mister, please. And look. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma okay, 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 okay. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. 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 That expression ma means, the meaning is, ma'am. Yes, ma it's a respectful expression for somebody of authority. Es una expresión respetuosa para alguien de autoridad. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you need anything? Okay. Okay, Carlita. Ready? Go to the practice. <laughs> Bye. The new meetings? Absolutely. Interns. Absolutely. Um, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of the close memo stick, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise um, the new inter. Absolutely. Okay. okay, perfect. Just remember, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Here you go. Switch roles. Teacher, yeah. yes. And el primero, please send these pics. This package. Package. Yes, package. like that package. package. Perfect. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Ma ma yes, ma ma'am ma is an expression of respect for a lady of authority. Es una expresión respetuosa para una señora que tiene un puesto de autoridad. Ma'am. Okay. Ma okay. Okay. It's like saying señora, but very, very respectful. Like for the boss, como un jefe. Okay. 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 Please in the package. 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 
Please send this package. Continue, please. Yes, ma'am. Do you... Bueno, okay, okay. voy a hacer... Hi, teacher, teacher. Hello, guys. Yeah. Finish? Sure. Yeah. You, are you switch... Marcia. You switch roles? Sorry. You are Marsha, teacher. ¿Cambiaron papeles? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I am Marsha. I am Marsha. Okay, cool. Yes. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, guys. Wow. In, in, 60, <laughs> in 60 seconds, I see you in the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's see. Almost everybody's here. Let me see. Let me check. Yes, I can see everybody. Well, let's check it out. Yes, everybody's here. And the first one is going to be Eliani and Felicita, please. Yes, please. Great job, everyone. Let me share with you guys. Okay, there you go. Date for the general meeting. Please, Eliani and Felicita, ready? Eliani, you Please. start. Please send these pictures. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new death for the general meeting. Right, why? Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. perfect. Perfect, perfect. Very well. Just remember yeah. package, package, package. anything. Package. Anything else? Yeah, anything else? Yes. Okay. Also, supervise. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much, ladies. Very well done. Now, Mr. Okay. Carlos Bautista and Pedro Antonio. Carlos, you are going to start right now, okay? Okay. Please send me the package. Hello. Peter, please. <laughs> hello, hello. Let's see who was your partner. Peter, you are Pedro, silent. Pedro, you are silent. I cannot hear you. Okay, now we can hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can start again. Comencemos de nuevo. Puede compartir nuevamente la, la pantalla. Por yes, it is right there. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need any anything? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Stay away. Give me, give me, um, give me one of those uh, 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 memo stickers. Memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, and look. Please supervise the news in terms. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Remember it. Very well done, guys. Okay, Teacher. remember package, okay. package. Package. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Okay. What is the meaning, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am. That's an expression of respect for a woman of authority okay it's very respectful for a woman of authority like imagine that you have a boss and your boss is a woman uh, so you okay. say yes ma'am is it the same as senior but in gear 
Yeah, it's, yes, it's like, si, sí, señora. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm, okay. Thank you. You're welcome, mister. Now, let's see who's going to be next. Uh, Grecia and Carla. Let me share it again with you, ladies. There you go. Please, let's do it. Grecia, you start. Okay, please send the, this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meetings. Right away. Give me give me one or twice memo a sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new inters. Absolutely. Very well done. Thank you. Just remember those, 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 those memo stickers. Those. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's see who's going to be next. Fausto and Francisco. Please. Okay, I am Marcia. Okay, you start. Please send this package. Sorry. Yes, man. Do you need anything? Anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Uh, oh, and look. Uh, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Very well done. Very well done. Now let's see who's missing, who's missing, who's missing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, that was Francisco and Helen and Walter. You did it already? No, you did, you haven't, have you? Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, yes, man. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me all those memo stick, please. So, how you go oh, and look, please supervise the new interns? Absolutely. Oh. Okay, okay, very well done. Just remember, actually, actually, and one of those, one of those memo stickers. Very well, very well. Now let's see who's missing, who's missing, who's missing. Mariela, you are missing. And Mariela is going to work with, let's see who can help her. Eliani, please help uh, Mariela. Okay. I'm a star. Okay, that's fine. Please send this package. Yes, ma, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right, right away. Why me, why me one of the cloud memo stickers, please? Sure, here you go. Oh. And Luke, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Okay, just give me a second. Just give me a second, guys. I'm sorry that somebody told me that cannot access. Okie dokie. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Now, 
It was very well done. Just remember, I'm going to pronounce it one more time for you just to listen, okay? And let me do a little something here. Okay, let's do it like this. Now, please listen carefully to the pronunciation. I'm going to pronounce it once more for you to remember. Well, I'm going to pronounce it twice. The first time I'm going to pronounce it very slow and then normal. So you can check out some words that are still like a little bit difficult for you guys, okay? And if you got any question, please stop me. If you do not understand a word, please stop me. So listen, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Listen again. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Any question about the pronunciation, about the sentences, the vocabulary? Questions? No? Okay. Perfect. Nice. So, today we are going to talk about commands. The first topic we are going to cover is commands. What is a command? A command is like, a, like an order, okay? When somebody gives you a command, they are giving you an order or perhaps an instruction. Those are called in English commands. And they are very common, but the way in which they are structured is a little bit different. And I need you to notice something, okay? Remember, commands, orders, is the same, okay? Just give me a second. You see, in here we have send this package. This is an instruction. Write a memo. This is an instruction. Give me one of those memo stickers. That's an instruction. Supervise the new interns. Okay? Now, I need you to notice something. Let me just create something different for you to check. Okay, let me see. Okay, right here. And perfect. Now, when we talk about commands, we are talking about something a little bit interesting because it varies a little bit of the regular way in which we see sentences. Sentences are a little bit different. Why? Because uh, if you can see here, let me see. Okay, like this. The sentence says, please send this package. Now let me make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. Now, usually sentences we have with the structure of a subject plus a verb plus a complement. But in this case, if you see this sentence right here, it varies a little bit. Why? 
because this sent is a verb. You see, the word sent is a verb. And we have this package that will be the complement. So when we talk about commands or instructions, we do not need the subject. Why not? Oh, because in this case, when we are talking about commands, the subject is not necessary because all the time it is going to be, all the time it is going to be the word you. We don't write it, but we understand that it goes right here. No la escribimos, pero entendemos que va acá. Okay, so the subject is you. You send this package. But, as I tell you, when we are talking about commands, in these cases, we do not need the subject. We do not write it. It is not necessary. The same happens when we give instructions to somebody. Okay. Are you understanding me? No, estamos entendiendo. What are some common commands? Like imagine that you go to the school, yes? Eh, en mi caso, yo veo borroso. No, no, no se alcanza a ver lo que ustedes Okay. No sé okay. si lo mismo problema. Listen, Pedro. When I'm talking about commands, I am talking about sentences without a subject. Cuando hablo de commands, son oraciones sin un sujeto. Because they are instructions, they are orders. Son instrucciones, órdenes. In this case, okay. the subject, it is not written, no se escribe, because the subject, it is always the word you. Siempre es la palabra you. And it's you. very common. Okay. Yeah, we use them in Spanish because like, uh, imagine that you are in class and somebody tells you, okay guys, please open your books. That's a command, that's an instruction. Close your book, open the door, close the door. We also have them in negatives. In negatives, we have them like don't. Like imagine that you are in a park and you see a, a message that says to everybody, don't step on the grass. Este es muy común, don't step on the grass. In the parks or in some gardens, you can see it. No pararse en la grama, okay? Very simple, no? Another one that is a command, otro que es un command, no parking. Very simple. So when we give commands, we are giving instructions. We do not need to say you. No necesitamos decir you. It's understood. So. Whenever you are speaking in English, all the time, for all the sentences, we always need subjects. Para todas las oraciones siempre necesitamos un sujeto, with the exception of commands, con las excepciones de los commands. In those cases, there's no subject. Everybody understands that the subject is you. Okay? Any question, guys? Preguntas? No questions? Okay, cool, perfect, perfect. That's excellent. Very, very nice. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Welcome, Miss Noemi. Good evening, thank you, teacher. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Just let me check. Okay, guys. Now, in your manual, you have a little bit of the explanation of this. And we are going to see it. Let me see. Let me see. It's right here. Okay. So, commands. Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. Okay? Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. Now, a recommendation will be to use the word please before the command to, so, to sound more polite, okay? Please, 
place an order for more boxes. Or use the word please at the end. Call the supervisor, please. When we give instructions, we can use the word please to be more polite. Okay. What is polite? What do I mean in polite? Amable. Okay, to be very kind. Kind is the same as polite. Okay, so if you want to be polite, we say, oh, please close the door. Please open your books. You know that is an instruction. Okay, do the exercise, please. You know that is an order. Or like when your boss goes and tells you, eh, give me the report, please. You know that is an order from your boss. Okay, all the instructions that come from the boss are orders. But if they add the word please, it sounds more polite. They are still orders, but you sound more polite. Any question? Preguntas? No? Okay, perfect. Now, do you remember that yesterday you were going to give, to bring five instructions? Yes? So now we are going to do a little exercise. The exercise is like this, okay? Imagine that I'm going to divide you in pairs. You are going to give the other person the instructions of how to do uh, an activity, perhaps your job, okay? And when we come back here, you are going to report what your classmate told you, okay? You are going to give me those instructions, not yours, your classmate instructions, okay? That's what I want. Cuando regresan acá, me van a dar las instrucciones, pero no las suyas, sino las que su compañero les dio, okay? So remember, no subject because they are instructions. You start right with the verb. Any question? Hello, Blanca, welcome. Any question, guys? Preguntas? No. Okie dokie. So what we are going to do right now is that I'm going to recreate the groups so we can work. Okay, let me see. Okay, groups are created again. Please jump in a different group. Es que voy entrando. Ahí viene el uh, es, eh, es sobre la tarea. Yes. Que hacer, sí, la... Vamos You're a going... compartir las, uh, las instrucciones. instrucciones. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly that. Pero, Ticha, son instrucciones que uno da en el trabajo. Yes, exactly. Like instructions, like in my case. Ok, imagine that I'm going to train uh, Blanca. Blanca, you are the new teacher. So the instructions are this. Uh, plan, plan or your classes weekly. Upload the lesson plans to the drive on Wednesday. Check all the grades, all the students' grades for Saturdays. Okay? Be on time for all your classes. Those are the instructions, you see? Just like that. So now, when we go back, Blanca is going to tell, oh, the instructions from the teacher are, and you give the instructions, okay? Uh, teacher in my class will be, I attend the clients. Okay, I... now, 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 I'm sorry, Blanca. Give the instructions to Fausto, okay? Fausto is your new co-worker. Fausto is el nuevo empleado. Ah, okay, sí, give okay. him the instructions. Fausto. Eh, I'm sorry, Fausto. She's very tough. Es una muy dura <laughs> compañera. <laughs> Pero en español, ah, porque en inglés no... English. Okay. 
uh, and you? Okay, uh, one. Okay, remember, you are going to give the instructions about the activities. Imagine that, Noemi, imagine that Walter is new in your company, okay? And you are going to give him the instructions for the new position. Yes. Usted le va a dar las instrucciones del nuevo trabajo, okay? So, okay. five instructions, and the same is going to do Walter with you. Y lo mismo va a hacer Walter con usted. La cinco, teacher. Yes, the five. Ah, okay. Teacher, eh, excuse me. Yo tengo una, digamos. Porque quiero entender si, si estoy más o menos. Eh, please to write memo for the staff. O sea, yo okay. estoy como... Estoy como dando una instrucción a alguien, o a la secretaria, o al asistente, para que haga un memorándum. Así es así. Ok, give the instructions to Walter. Ok. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Eh, entonces serían cinco. Cinco, no, mí solo le he dado dos. Eh, otra, me voy a dar otra. Mm -hmm. Austin, often, Revin, customer specification. Often review. To ask them, often review customer specification. Customer, customer. Customer. Give them. Give, give. Okay, okay, okay. Erase the Felicita. Well, yeah, on the first one. Felicita, always order to update accounting. Please give... Oh, yes, nice. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh, it, it, the first expression is for... Es lo que ella me dice, ¿no? Yo lo... En lo que se entre paréntesis es lo que ordena, básicamente. Now I understand you. Perfect. Excellent. Continue, okay. guys. Yeah. And you, Frank, uh, receive que sale aquí. Sealer. Oh, sí. Sealer. Ajá. Please open okay. the door. Um, pero no sé. Okay. Open the door. La of la sealer. Ajá. Okay. Of the sealer. No sé si así se dice. Sealer. Yes, but what do you store there? ¿Qué es lo que guarda ahí? Um, uh, Product inventory. No sé cómo se dice. Um, como materiales de librería, algo así. Material. Okay. Ah, como, okay. Okay. How do you spell Papel. it? ¿Cómo, cómo deletre esa palabra sealer? C E C Yes, C E E L L A R Oh, the sealer. 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 Okay. Now uh, 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 uh. Well, in a sealer, you can, it's a, uh, the correct, the correct, correct, correct one is a cava. Okay. In that one. Okay. Usually sealers are in the basement. Normalmente están en una... En un sótano, okay? Okay. It could be a, a cava for wines, una cava para vinos. That could be a sealer. Uh -huh. okay. okay. But usually they are underground. Perhaps what you mean, it's a warehouse. Quizás lo que usted quiere decir es una warehouse. Bodega. Warehouse. Yes. Okay. Or, or another one could be Storage room. Storage room. Storage room. 
please open the door of the storage room. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Please open the door. Pero ya tiene algo de estar ahí. Eliani, where's, where's your glasses? I saw you with your glasses. Um, my glasses. Me apretan. Oh, they are tight. They are tight. And that happens, that happens. You get used to them. I never take them off. Yo nunca me los quito. So I don't have that problem. Mm. So, you finish? Eran two. Five. Five. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, like like Carla. Carla works for a library, no? Carla trabaja en una librería, no? In a bookstore. Yes. Okay. And imagine that Eliani is the new employee. Eliani va a ser su nueva compañera. You need to give her the instructions. Usted necesita darle las instrucciones. And you tell her. Ah, okay. okay. And you tell her. Okay, Eliani, the instructions are uh, check in at... 7.30 a.m. as an example, or check in at 8 a.m. Eh, ingrese o venga a las 7.30 o a las 8. Eh, attend the clients. Your obligations are to check in at 8 a.m. Attend the clients. Eh, make photocopies for the clients. You see? Keep everything in order and clean. That's what you're going to do. So hurry up. Teacher, sería correcto decir, they'll check, check in and check out. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Y la primera que era, what do you phone number, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, escriba eh, su número de teléfono o su cel... Número de celular. Cell number. Okay. Uh, attend the clients. Attend then, the clients. Check the mail. Check the emails and la, the last one I don't remember. Create your report. Ah, create to report. What? To re, create reports. Create reports. Okay. Create reports. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Let's see. No, it's okay. So you are almost finished. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Check your check your notes, okay? Okay. Just two minutes. I'm going to send a message to everybody. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Well, I can say, for example, Fausto. Porque vamos a hablar de las de, de lo de Fausto, de lo que hace Fausto. En mi casa yo voy a decir lo que hace Fausto. O yo okay. le voy a decir lo que necesito que haga. Well, first you need to tell him the instructions. Oh, And okay. Fausto is going to tell me, Fausto me va a decir cuáles fueron sus instrucciones. Ah, ok. Entonces yo le voy a decir cuáles fueron las mías. Ok. Así, ¿verdad? Ok. You are going to tell <laughs> me... No, sería... Sería que Blanca va a hablar ya sea de, de, de mis instrucciones o las instrucciones de Carlos Bautista. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Y así sucesivamente, yo hablaría de Blanca o de Carlos. Exactly. 
¿Y cómo, y sería, te... ¿cómo sería la fase inicial, teacher? Blanca. No. Eh, the instructions are. The instructions are. The, ah, ok. The instructions are. Hello, sir. Hello, lady. Hello. Hello. You ask for me? Help me, please. Yes. Yes, okay. come Okay, tenemos two sentences. Eh, cada una, como yo diría, cada una. Ish. Two sentences, ish. Two sentences, ish. 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 Eh, complete. Instruction. Okay. Okay, you are going to nice. tell me the instructions are. Mm. I don't know. Mariela, help me, please. <laughs> okay, Gracia, what are they? What are Mariela's instructions? Ah, okay. Mariela's instruction is, Our. please. Uh, Mariela's instru instruction are, yes. please give me paper to the photocopy. And right. please open the door of the warehouse. Very well. Just two. Two. They were five. At least Almost. one more, one more. Hurry up, Five. one more. Okay. Al menos una okay, más. Okay. Because you just Thank have you. one minute, one minute, and that's it. Okay. Ah, pues eran cinco. Vaya. Okay, acabo de mandar un mensaje de 60 seconds, pero no necesitan salirse. Tienen esos 60 segundos todavía, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Me sacó. No me salí. That's weird, that's weird. I'm sorry. Perhaps it was the system because you still had one minute. Todavía tenían un minuto. Could have been the, 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 the Zoom, no, the sacó. platform. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Just give me the ones that you have. Mariela, please, you start. Tell me about what are her instructions? What are Gracia's instructions? Yes. Mariela. Mariela, hello. Your sentences. Hola. Hello, Mariela. Hola. Oh, now we can hear you. Please, give us the instructions, Mariela. Okay. Uh, please complete the forms. Okay, perfect. And please calculate customer taxes. Very well done. Grecia, please, your turn. Okay. Please give me a paper, the photocopy. And please open the door of the warehouse. Of the warehouse, warehouse. Perfect, warehouse. very well done. Okay, they just had two. But I know that Fausto got more. So Fausto, please tell me about your classmate. The instructions. Whose instructions are you going to I, give? I teacher, um, my classmate is Carlos and Blanca. Okay, who are you going to talk about? Carlos, her instruction are... His, uh, his, his. His, his, sorry, his. Uh, please make to photocopy. Okay. Uh, please uh, carry the pay, package. Package? In the work, package oh. in, in the warehouse. Uh, Blanca, uh, her instructions are at uh, the clients. Okay, perfect. Uh, and 
please text your email. Okay. And, and please create your report. Create reports. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you very much, Fausto. You're welcome. Now, uh, let's see. Let's see who's going to be next. Uh, Eliani, please. Uh, Carla, this instruction. Give me three chairs. Please charge me for the product. Enter this product to the system, please. Order the product all day. And maintain social distancing. Ooh. Social distancing. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done, Eleni. Now, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Pedro, tell me at least three of your sentences. Muchas oraciones, teacher. Oh, tell me. Muchas oraciones. Okay. Tell me. Uh, um, Helen, please check to your email today. Okay. Uh, um, Please, uh, please write five cents about your family. Okay. Um, Helen, please go to the world, the them class. Okay, excellent. Very well done, Pedro. Okay. Excellent, excellent, okay. excellent work. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Felicita, your turn, please. Yeah. Uh, Francisco sent the working to office. Um, he's preparing or dressing the project for this client. Uh, he's chaired the Manual with the other co -work workers. Co workers. Co workers. Okay, very well um, done, Felicita. Yeah. Okay, just remember, Felicita, manual. 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 Okay, very manual. well done. Very well done. Manual. Thank you very much, Felicita. Walter. Okay. Hey, teacher. Uh, it is part of Noemi. Okay, tell me about Noemi. Uh, please write a memo for staff. Okay. Uh, please write a letter for the band. Perfect. She prepare cash and flow. Okay. Cash and flow income. I guess. Okay. Uh, please prepare a report from different accounts. Okay, excellent. Accounts. Accounts. Account. Accounts. Finish. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Noemi, please, the instructions. Instruction for to follow Walter. And normally check the emails. Okay. A, a, um, Walter clean his desk. Perfect. He review customer specification. Okay. Customer, customer. 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 Um, Walter design pro program harvest. Okay, thank you very much, Noemi. Francisco. Yeah. Please, the instructions you got. Okay. Um, please update uh, accountability. Please give good attention to the clients. Perfect. Um, please prepare the financial informs of our clients. Good. Okay, please check the emails. 
Oh, and please prepare taxes for the client before his delay. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you. Now let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Que me falta? Que me falta? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Miss Yesenia was just arriving. Jorge was just arriving. Grecia was there. Carla Marielos, you gave them to me. Okay, Carla gave them to me. This instruction, Eliani. Okay. Do not, do not eat during war hour. Ooh. Respect working hours. Keep clean the workplace. Meet production goals. They all check in and check out. Okay, wow. Eliane is very strict. strict. Very, very strict. Wow. I don't want her as my boss. Okay, let's see. Blanca, you are the last. I saw you, Blanca. You are missing. <laughs> Okay, the instructions Fausto are please prepare this order, then print the pushers order and um, load the truck. Okay, perfect. Uh, at the end. Thank you very much, Blanca. Carlos. Hello. Okay. I have uh, the instruction of Fausto. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to, to, to get something clear, okay? Don't worry that you're going to give them. I just want to tell you something, guys, to everybody, okay? Remember, please, this. I have the instructions Oh, oops, I'm sorry. You told me. I have the instructions of Fausto, right? Yes, Carlos? Yes. Okay. You can say this sentence in this other way. You can say it. I have Fausto's instructions okay uh, when you add this apostrophe s you are adding you're including the word the and of because here okay. you say i have the instructions of fausto i have fausto's instructions is the same just that the second one sounds better la segunda suena mejor the idea is the same okay so you I have, have yes? I have Fausto's instruction. Perfect. Are, please print the purchase orders. Please okay. prepare these orders. Please load the truck with this order. Help me please make this quot quotation. Cotization. How is the better pronunciation? Oh, yeah, but it's not like that. When you talk about that... Uh... Quotation. Quotation. Yeah. No, but quotation is different. Um, quotation. 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 Okay? Quotation. Quotation. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's Thank up. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, guys. I need to get the attendance again. So let's do it fast. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla Marielos Guevara. Present. Mariela de Los Angeles Alvarado. Present. Carla Colocho. Absent. Eh, Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Thank you, Yesenia. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Present. 
Thank you. Blanca Margarita Chavez Perez. Present. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Present. Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla, absent. Francisco Javier Villatoro. Present. Ok. Alonso Antonio Turcios. Absent. Andrea Natalie. Absent. And Wendy Azucena. Absent. Ok. 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 Now, thank you guys. So, as you see, to give instructions is very simple. There's another way to give instructions. Hay otra manera de dar instrucciones. And we are going to like uh, go forward a little bit. Nos vamos a adelantar un poquito, but it's something that I would like you to start like understanding yeah. from right now. So I am going to share with you right now a small PowerPoint presentation, a very short PowerPoint presentation that I prepared for you. So let me share it. Let's see, where is it? Where did it go? It's amazing. Teacher. Yes, mister. I'm sorry, what's your name lista. again? Who's that? Pedro Antonio. Pedro Antonio. I'm sorry, Pedro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me check. Okay. Thank you very much, Pedro. Okay. I'm sorry. My bad. Perdón. Okay. Let me share with you. Let's do it. And... Let's see. Ouch. Here we go. Okay. We are going to talk today about have to and don't have to. Okay. Tener que o no tener que. Okay, have to. We use have to to express obligation. That means when something is necessary in the present or in the future, okay? Remember, we use have to when we want to express an obligation, when something is necessary in the present or future, right? Now, examples. The boys have to study hard. Okay, the boys have to study hard. That would be an example. Another one, he has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. Here we have, the boys have to, it's an obligation. The boys have to study hard. He has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. That's also an obligation. Now, when we have affirmative sentences, okay? We can have the subject plus have to or has to plus the verb plus the complement. So that means that this have to and has to functions as an auxiliary, okay? So, when we have I, you, we, and they, we use have to. Look at the example. You have to arrive on time to classes. And then we have he, she, or it. In those cases, we need to use has to, okay? Look at the example. She has to brush her teeth every day. Any question up to here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? Okay. I am taking uh, some pictures of the of the of the 
of the presentation so you can have them. Just let me check. Because I know that for some of you, perhaps the you don't see it well in the resolution. Okay. Then, don't have to. There's also the negative. We use don't have to to express the absence of obligation when something is not necessary to do. Okay? We use don't have to to express the absence. Okay? Remember, when something is not necessary to do. And then, as an example, the children don't have to go to school today. It's a Saturday. As it is a Saturday, there's not obligation. So, the children don't have to go to school today. Look at the next example. She doesn't have to eat all the fruit. Again, listen, she doesn't have to eat all the fruits. Now, I'm taking the picture for you guys so you can check it out later or you can access again to the video. Remember, you can access to the video. Next, when we have the negative sentence, the structure, look, the structure goes like the subject plus don't have to or doesn't have to, plus the verb plus the complement. So we have don't, and don't, we use it with I, you, we, or they. And we have an example. We don't have to get up early on Sundays. We don't have to get up early on Sundays. And we also have doesn't. Look. Doesn't, we use it with she, he, or it. Look at the example. He doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. He doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. Any question? Preguntas? Do you need the picture of this? Necesitamos la foto de este? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, got it. So look, you have do or does plus the subject plus have to plus the complement. So remember, with I, you, we, they, we use do. Do you have to? This is when we are making questions. Look, this is for questions. The auxiliary do goes at the beginning. Do I have to? Do you have to? Do we have to? Do they have to? And then we have does. The auxiliary does goes with he, she, or it. Okay, does he have to, does she have to, does it have to? Now, when we make questions, we can have, when we have questions that start with do, remember they are yes, no question. These questions can be answered just with yes or no. Like this one. 
Do you have to eat the vegetables? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Does he have to eat the vegetable? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. This means that when we have this type of questions, if the question starts with the auxiliary do, usually the question, the answer goes with do. And if the question that starts with does, usually the answer also goes with does. So let's make a small practice. Okay, let's see. We have here a couple of sentences. We have the first three sentences, okay? And we need to put them in order. Clean your room, have to you. Okay, let's see. Blanca, please order the first sentence. Um, you, you have to clean your room. Perfect, Blanca. Excellent. Thank you very much. Grecia, number two. No. Do. Okay. Do they? Do they? Perfect. Have to play football. Perfect. Excellent. Fausto, number three. Okay. Um, I don't have make my bed. My bed. I, I don't have to make my bed. I don't have to make my bed. Perfect. Excellent. So, for the next round of sentences, let's see who is it going to be for the next round of sentences. Um, Eliani, number four. Um, she has to do the dish. Okay, she has to do the dishes. Again, an obligation, see? Number five, let's see who's going to give me number five. Who's going to be number five? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Number five goes to Mariela de Los Angeles. It's a question, Mariela. Question starts with the auxiliary. Does? Does have to... Does he? Does he have to cut the grass? Perfect. Excellent. Number six. Let's see. Number six goes to uh, Francisco. Number six. It's yours. She has to study every day. Okay, perfect. She has to study, study. Study. Perfect, excellent. Very well done. Okay, now we have to complete with have to or has to. Don't have to or doesn't, or doesn't have to. So now let me see, let me get this. Okay, okay, okay. Grecia, number one. Sarah, okay. study hard for the exam. Give me a second, please. Um, casi no veo la pantalla, mister. Do you want me to send you a picture? Pero... Está muy pequeña. Okay, you can check it out on the, on the, on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Ahí está. Sí, yes, please. Sara. Sara. Have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Oh, yeah. Sara. Oh, I don't know. Sara, have to. Study. Okay. Great, Grecia. Just remember. Remember, we are talking about Sara. She. 
When we talk about she, we use has to. Has to. Oh. Yes, Sarah has to study hard for the exam. Next okay. one, next one, Jorge. Mr. Jorge Reyes, David, have to or has to? Okay. Dave has to clean his room. Perfect, mister. Excellent. Hola. Excellent, excellent. Well done. Next one. I cut the grass every Sunday. Let's see, let's see who is going to help me with this. Um, let's see who's around, who's around. Miss Noemi. I have to cut the grass every Sunday. Perfect, very well done. I have to cut the grass every Sunday. Okay, now number four, Andres. Andres. Let's see, Andres goes for Carlos. I don't see. Andres has to play football after class. Perfect, mister. Very well done. Let me see. And this one, uh, okay. Now, we have some negatives. Negatives. Blanca, number six. She doesn't. Uh, I she, can see. Okay, she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Okay, you got it on the WhatsApp right now. She doesn't have to. Sorry, hard for. She doesn't have to go to school on Saturday. Repeat with me, Blanca. Repeat with me. Repeat with me. She doesn't okay. have to. She she doesn't have to go to school. Go to school on Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, perfect. Let's. I think this exercise is going to be complex because of the of the swimming. Okay. What matters to us is this. Remember, when we use have to, we talk, we are talking about obligations, something that we have to do in the present or in the future. Okay. When we give personally the instruction to somebody, we use the commands. But Another way to express it is by the use of have to or has to, okay? Okay, now we are going to do another exercise. And in this exercise, you are going to work together, okay? Now, I need you to focus on tomorrow's, tomorrow's, activities in your workplace, okay? You are going to work in big groups. And what we are going to do is this. I'm going to, sh to show you the main activity, okay? Let's see. Okay. In your manuals, you have this in page number 23. Brainstorm six things your classmate boss needs him or her to do tomorrow. But we are going to do it different. You are going to work in big groups. So each one of you is going to tell your classmate one of your obligations for tomorrow. Just one. Okay? And you need to take notes. Do you understand the activity? You are going to tell your classmate just one of your activities for tomorrow 
and you are going to collect the information from five of your classmates. Okay, so one sentence per classmate, like imagine that I'm working with Blanca, Fausto, Eliani. Okay, I will write Blanca sentence here in number two, Fausto, in number three, Eliani, in number four, Walter, in number five, Pedro, and number six, mine. You got it? That's the way we are going to do it. Each one of you is going to tell your classmate one of your obligations for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is Wednesday. Perhaps some of you do the same activities every day. Some of you don't. I'm going to do the same activities all the days, but not all of you. So focus on tomorrow's activities because that's what you are going to share with your classmate. You just need to give them one, okay? And we are going to work in two big groups. Vamos a trabajar en dos grupos grandes. Okay? Oh, no. I'm sorry. In three. Three groups. So, guys, the groups are created. You just have three minutes. So, be fast. Be fast, please. Ms. Yesenia, can you get in the group? Okay, I'll be back. Ya regreso. A mañana. Ah, okay. One, uh -huh. just one. Entonces, una cosa one. que hará mañana. Yes. Okay. One of yes, your yes, obligations. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, yes. Obligation on the coffee. <laughs> Pero no es. No, no, no. Yo entendí que una cosa que vamos a hacer obligatoria, o sea, como despertarnos a tal hora, almorzar a tal hora. Oh, no, from, pero eso from es algo your, que hacemos todos. From, no, 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 no. Look. Uh -huh. Look at me. Ok. Eh, tomorrow, okay. Wednesday, Wednesday. On Wednesdays, I I have to I have to upload all my lesson plans. Okay, so you're right, Douglas. Upload all the lesson plans. Uh -huh. Ya subo mi oración. Ahora, Grecia, una cosa que usted le toque hacer mañana en su trabajo. Okay. Mm. I have prepared document uh, the client. Okay, perfect. Ahora todos ustedes en la segunda oración. Oh, Grecia has to prepare documents. Mm, okay. Number three, Fausto. Fausto gives one, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, who's number one? Uh, Helen. Helen. Number two? Elian. Okay, so you are giving one. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, I will recommend you that because I'm going to ask you with the name. Okay. Entonces, el primero era Helen, ¿verdad? Yes. Usted se sería, has to. Yes, exactly. You need to write it exactly like that. Blanca has to buy, oh, really, Blanca? Wow, she has to buy a car tomorrow. Yeah. Wow. Ya teníamos una duda. Yes, tell me, Blanca. 
Uh, la duda era si vamos a usar en todas las oraciones el has to y el have to y eran, eran oraciones acerca de lo que haremos mañana o en, del trabajo. Anyone, cualquiera. Cualquiera. Ah, okay. yes. Yes, but remember, one sentence is yours, once is Francisco, once is Carlos, ¿ok? Sí, ok, ok. Ok, iremos con Blanca entonces. <laughs> Blanca irá a comprar un carro mañana. <laughs> Very good. Ok. Vaya, la otra podría ser entonces Francisco no, has no. to... Your, 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 your activities for tomorrow. No, just one. Una de blanco. Solo es uno. Yes. Oh, una por cada una. One. Exactly, sí. one per person. Oh, ok. Por eso vamos ahora con Francisco. Francisco has Thank to you, run. Thank <laughs> Train the new college. Colleagues. 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 Colleges. 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 I have Colleges. to train the new college. Question three. Sentence. Sí. Oh, sentence. Yes. Alex. Sentence. Alex. Sentence three. Or Jorge. Jorge. Alex. Hey, Alex. Yes, yes your, it's your favorite, Alex. Yes. Me obliga a usar Jorge aquí. <laughs> Por el Dui. <laughs> ok, bueno, el mío, bueno, lo más común que llevo, que tengo que hacer para mañana. Uh, I have to prepare a purchase order. A check Pause. and prepare. Uh -huh. Fausto. Repeat, Fausto. I have checked and prepared Pusher's order. Orders. 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 Check. Check. Yes. Have to order. Yes. Fausto has to prepare. Check and prepare. Purchase orders. Purchase orders. Okay, teacher, thank you. Uh, Repeat, please. Fausto has to check and prepare. 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 Purchase. Aquí el have to o el have to. Y ya el verbo principal queda siempre íntegro. Okay. Teacher, hello. Please hello. Sentences. Our, uh, Let's see, perfect, uh, excellent. And Mariela has to reply to her. Mariela has to reply her emails. Noemi has to arrive early to work. Carlos has to go to Sepa's warehouse in airport. In airport, at, at the airport. At the, well, actually at the, when we have this word, Cuando tenemos la palabra D, before a vowel, la pronunciamos D. ¿Ok? Y cuando la tenemos antes de una consonante, pronunciamos D or that. So, in this case, Harlow has to go to Sepa's warehouse at the airport. Is go. Perfect. All the sentences are perfect. Ok. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. So let me see. You are finished already. Yes. Yes. Just let me check the other groups. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me check the sentences. Blanca has to buy a car tomorrow. Wow. Excellent. Javier has to do exercises tomorrow. Carla has to check products. Pedro has to rest all day. Oh, Pedro. Cool. <laughs> That's nice. We have to check our homework. Yes, of course, you need to. They have to go to the beach. Nice. Excellent. Very well done. So you are almost okay. finished. Okay, I'm going to send a message right now to everybody that 
there's a group that is still working, so we are going to give them two minutes. The rest we can go back. Okay. 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 Miss Yesenia, hello. I think she's having problems with the connection. Okay, guys, almost everybody's here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to choose just three of you. Okay, one per group is going to tell me the sentences of the whole group, right? Okay, let's see, let's see. I remember that, uh, Carlos, in your group, somebody was sharing the, the, the screen. Was it you? Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Who was sharing the screen? You? Okay, perfect. Okay, please. Screen. Please, Carlos, read the sentences. Okay. Helen has to work a lot. Perfect. Helen has to meet production goals. Mariela has to replay her emails. Noemi has to arrive early to work. I have to go go to Sepa's warehouse at the airport. We have to use the mask every day. Perfect, Carlos. Leave it like that just a second, please. Déjeme la un momento. Okay, guys, I explained this to the other groups and I'm going to explain it to you. We have the word, the, the, the mask, and we have the airport. Listen, the mask, the airport. If it goes before a vowel, si va antes de una vocal, we pronounce it D. If it goes before a consonant sound, si va antes de una consonante, we pronounce D. That's why the mask, the airport. Okay? Thank you very much, Carlos. Perfect. Well done, well done, well done. Let's see, the other group was, uh, who was the other group? Blanca, Francisco, and Carla, right? Uh, Francisco, you have the screen? Can you share the screen of the sentences you were typing? Yep. Please, do. There are. Okay. Now let's see, Francisco, please read the sentences. Blanca has to buy the car tomorrow. Javier has the has to do exercise tomorrow. Carla has to check products. Pedro has to rest all day. We have to check our homework. They have to go to the beach. Perfect. Excellent. Very well pronounced. Very good pronunciation, Francisco. Thank so you. remember, Blanca has to buy a car tomorrow. Javier has to do exercises tomorrow. These are, look, all of them, the, the four first sentences, they go with has to because we are talking about he or she. In number five and number six, as they say we, it changes to have to. We have to check our homework. They have to go to the beach. So these people in number six, they are not going to party. They are, have an obligation. Excellent, Mr. Francisco. Very well done. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. The first group was uh, Fausto, Felicita, Grecia, Jorge, uh, Walter. 
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, you didn't do it like that. Ustedes no la hicieron así, ¿verdad? No. But you can dictate to me. So, let's see, Fausto, you got all the sentences? Yes. Okay, you Let's are going. Start. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do the sentences, please. Number one. Yes. Uh, Grecia has to prepare documents the clients. Grecia has to prepare documents for the clients. For the clients. Perfect. Number two. Felicita has to check financial financial documents uh, for the clients. Has to check financial documents for the clients. Perfect. Number three, please. Jorge has to train the new colleagues. The new colleague, oops, colleagues. Thank you, number four. Walter uh, has to deliver templates. Has to deliver templates. Deliver templates. Perfect. Do you have more? And I. <laughs> That's Fausto. Yep. Oh well, Fausto. you can you can do it like that. Perfect. I. I have to uh, prepare purchase orders. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. So listen, Gracia has to prepare documents for the clients. Felicita has to check financial documents for the clients. Jorge has to train the new colleagues. Walter has to deliver templates. And I have to prepare purchase orders. Very well done, guys. Excellent. Everybody, you did a great job. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Uh, as far as I can see, guys, uh, all of you are like right now from the beginning, you're structuring longer sentences and that's great that's excellent sure. yes mister cuando dice um, gracias si se responde gracias a usted se puede decir thank you or thank you thank to you it's more uh, it's more a matter of habit es más algo de costumbre okay somebody tells you thanks and you say thank you Gracias, gracias. Okay? Or, in my case, I say, thanks to you. En mi caso, okay. yo digo, gracias a usted. But it's just, it's just a habit, okay? You can say, okay. the only thing that you have to be careful is with thanks. Thanks is informal. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, that's informal. Thank you, formal. Thanks to you. It's uh, it's a little bit more polite. Es un poquito más amable. But as I tell you, it's just a matter of habit. Es más que todo algo de costumbre. Okay? Okay. It's like some people say, good morning. And some people just say, morning. You see? So, sí, sí, pero va en, en la pronunciación, digamos, eh, cuando usted dice, thank you. Ok, y le responde a alguien, thank you, como con más acento al final. Oh. Más acentuado, thank you. Is the same. Está siendo amable. Ok. It's just that. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Uh -huh. No, gracias a usted. Ah, ok. It's just that Spanish is more, uh, Spanish is a little bit more polite. El español es un poquito más amable. And we have, uh, like, more ways to express that. Tenemos más manera de decirlo. Okay? It's just a matter like, okay, let me do something. Okay. You get what I mean? That's the only difference. Okay? 
from thanks, thanks is informal. Okay, thanks. Hey, thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. That's very informal. Thank you. Formal, serious. Thank you. Thanks to you. Very polite. Okay. Any question? Any other question, guys? No? Okay. I'm sorry. I, uh, we still have like uh, three, four minutes, but I need to take the attendance again. I'm sorry, guys. So again, Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla Maria Los Guevara. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Present. El, Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Carla Colocho, absent. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present. Thank you. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña. She's around. Yo la veo por ahí. Jorge Alexander Reyes. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Present. Present. Felicita Hello. Cruz de Pereira. Present. Helen Maria Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Francisco Teacher. Javier. Teacher. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, Jorge, Present. I can hear Teacher you. Me escucho. Yes, es que Jorge. Se... Okay, es que se congeló. Oh, I'm sorry. Must be the sign up. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Por quien iba. Francisco, Javier, sorry. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Alonso Antonio, absent. Andrea Natalie, absent. Wendy Azucena, absent. Pedro Antonio Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so let's make a small review. We have seen two different topics today. We have covered two different topics. The first topic, no, Grecia, I'm not saying bye yet. Hold on, hold on. Grecia was very excited. Okay, we have seen two different topics today. The first topic was commands. Remember, commands are orders. And we express commands with a sentence in which there is not subject. Commands do not need a subject. Okay, let me see. I'm sorry, but I'm, I need to silence everybody. Perfect. Let's see, right here and right here. So, remember. When we talk about this, when we talk about commands, commands, they do not need a subject because the subject all the time is going to be you, okay? But we do not need to say it, we do not need to write it because they are commands, instructions. Like if you see a, if you see a text like the instructions of a, of a manual, Si vemos las instrucciones de un manual. Yes, Grecia, I did, I'm sorry. Perhaps you didn't listen to me, but I checked your name, okay? No problem. Okay, so if we see the instructions of a manual, si vemos las instrucciones de un manual, all of them start with the verb. Si ustedes se fijan en las instrucciones de un manual, comienzan con el verbo. If you see the instructions of a receipt, for example, si vemos las instrucciones de una receta, they, they start with the verb. Comienzan con el verbo. They say uh, pour, vacíe, mix, mezcle, add, agregue. They start right with the verb. So those are commands. Commands, we use them for instructions. Okay? And then we saw the obligations. Now, going back to the commands, regresando los commands. Remember, whenever we are saying a command, we add the word please. Le agregamos la palabra please, so they can be more polite, para que sean 
más amables. ¿Ok? Now, with the other part of the class, we were working with the obligations. And we express obligations using have to or has to. We use has to for he, she, or it. He has to check in early. She has to make photocopies. She has to buy a car. Okay? Now, before we finish, is there any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No? Okay, guys. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure for me to have you in this class. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.